My name is Lisa, and I work in the accounting department of a certain company. My main job involves tasks related to the company's finances, such as organizing receipts, creating invoices, and data entry. Although the department is busy with numbers every day, I have been leading a fulfilling life. Listen, Lisa. Mr. Yamada from the sales department brought expired receipts again. What, again? There's no way we can write those off as expenses. Right? I got so mad that I bypassed Yamada and went straight to the head of the sales department. Sachi, you're amazing. I was fortunate to work in a friendly environment with close colleagues, kind bosses, and both junior and senior staff. However, I found myself interested in Naoto, someone I met through work. We started bumping into each other every time he visited our company and recently, we began going out for drinks together. On this particular day, after work. So, the wind was blowing, and the wig of a client's president kept flipping open and shut, and everyone was trying so hard to hold back their laughter that they were teary-eyed. What happened then? It was just too much, everyone was desperately trying not to laugh. It was almost unfair. I might have burst out laughing if it were me. You're too quick to laugh, it'd be impossible for you. Hey Lisa, this is about me but… What is it? Actually, I have two children, and my wife passed away soon after the second one was born. What? Naoto, you were married? Yeah. But I like you, Lisa. It might be difficult because of the kids. Take your time, but I'd like you to think about us. While dining out after work, Naoto made a startling revelation. I was honestly very surprised, but I had been drawn to Naoto's kindness, so I decided to start dating him. On our first date, I met his daughter, Madison, and his son, Thomas. Both were very friendly and we quickly became close. Eventually, we all started spending time together regularly, and we became a family. Madison, Thomas, I'm introducing you to your new mom. Madison and Thomas, I'm looking forward to being with you from today. Lisa is going to be mom. Thomas, Lisa is going to be our mom. Really? Yeah. Dad, you did well? You did well. Well, yes. Madison and Thomas, let's all get along well from now on. Thus, I quickly became a mother to two children right after getting married. What pleased me most was how Madison and Thomas accepted me as their mother. Since then, the four of us have been living a comfortable and happy life. However, about two years after our marriage was officially registered, things began to change slightly. Welcome home. You've been coming back late recently. Are you feeling okay? I'm fine. There's just some trouble at work, and I've been staying late to deal with it. Thanks for worrying, Lisa. It's okay, just don't overdo it. Hey, Naoto, next week is Thomas's birthday. Do you think you'll be able to come home early? I know, and I'll try my best to make it back early. At this time, I was feeling somewhat doubtful about Naoto's behavior. His department isn't usually busy enough to require overtime, yet he had been staying late almost every day, coming home only late at night. Even if the troubles were real, it was strange that this pattern had persisted for several months. However, I tried to act unconcerned for the sake of Madison and Thomas. A week later, on the day he had promised to come home early for Thomas's birthday. Tana, I'm home! Your master has returned! Kick! You smell like alcohol. Naoto, don't tell me you went drinking? That's right. I was enjoying a drinking party. What's wrong with that? But today is Thomas's birthday. You promised to come home early. Oh, sorry. I totally forgot. I'll just say happy birthday tomorrow. Hick. That's not the point. Madison and Thomas stayed up late waiting for you. Ah, uh, stop nagging. I was in a good mood until I came back, but now you're sobering me up. It's your fault I'm starting to get a headache. That's just because you drank too much. Shut up. I work hard every day, you know. And yet, the moment I come home, you start complaining. Who do you think you are? A husband comes home tired, and you can't even soothe him. You're failing as a wife. But, you're the one who broke the promise, right? It's our child's birthday. You broke your promise to come home early and went drinking instead, returning in the middle of the night. Ah, shut up. The kids are fond of me anyway, so you're no longer needed. What? I'm going to sleep now, so don't talk to me. And don't wake me up. Wait, Naoto? 
What do you mean by, a no longer needed? Despite several attempts to discuss the situation, Naoto remained unresponsive. A few days later, I woke up to find that Naoto was gone. On the living room table, there was a signed divorce paper. Additionally, valuables such as the passbook and seal were all missing. When I explained the situation to Madison and Thomas. It's fun to be with mom, so that's okay. Yeah, let's live happily together, just mom, Madison, and me. That will definitely be more fun. Madison, Thomas, thank you. Madison and Thomas happily accepted the idea of living with me alone. Encouraged by their smiles, I resolved to make them absolutely happy. Fifteen years later, as we were enjoying a quiet day at home, the doorbell rang repeatedly with urgency. With some caution, I went to the door. Lisa! It's me, it's me! What? Why is Naoto here? Long time no see. How have you been? As beautiful as ever, Lisa. Compliments out of the blue just creep me out. What's with those tattered clothes? Oh, come on. More importantly, how are the kids? You have no business with them. Please leave now. Don't be so cold. I had a hard time finding you all. So what? What do you want after all these years? We divorced 15 years ago. Since then, I've raised the children on my own. You're their mother, that's what you're supposed to do, right? Yes, and you're not their father anymore, so it doesn't concern you. Please, just go. I can't do that. I'm here to take my children back. Don't joke. I would never hand them over to someone like you. You were the one who left us. I really regret that time and I've reflected on it. Too late for regrets. Don't be ridiculous. Mom, what's happening? Wait, is that dad? Madison, you've grown up so beautiful. Bruce, I'm not happy at all to hear that. Why are you here? And what's with those clothes? They're so tacky and filthy. Don't say that I came to live with you, to bring you back with me. Huh? Can you stop saying things that make no sense? You! Thomas! Wow, you've become such a fine man. As Lisa was speaking with Naoto at the entrance, Madison and Thomas, having grown into adults, came over after hearing the voices. When Naoto saw them, he moved toward them emotionally, but, Don't come any closer to the children. You're not their father anymore, Naoto. Just stop it. What are you talking about? I am Madison and Thomas's biological father. Then why did you leave on your own? It's absurd to start acting like a father now. Think about it. It's unthinkable to just disappear and leave your kids behind. Ah, uh, that was because the woman I was with didn't like kids. So I just left them with Lisa. Then you should have just stayed with her forever. You search for our house, show up unannounced, and now you demand Madison and Thomas? Don't be ridiculous. That's seriously the worst. It makes no sense. You left on your own, so just keep getting along with that person. I did, but as soon as the company I moved to for her went under, she cheated on me with some guy she liked better who works at a big corporation. Sounds just like what you did back then. Karma, isn't it? It's not the same. Because of her. I'm left with nothing but debt. It's totally unfair. I'm not at fault here. How is it unfair? You did the worst things to mom. Right. It's just desserts. Don't be ridiculous. Madison, Thomas. How can you speak to your parent like that? You're not a parent or anything to us. That's right. Your parent is mom right here. You understand now, right? Naoto, it's time to give up and just go home. Madison and Thomas fiercely rejected Naoto. I had no intention of handing my children over to him. When I told him there was nothing more to discuss and he should leave. Ugh. I won't leave. I won't allow you all to live happily while excluding me. After we were so happy, you chose to chase other women and left. You threw away that happiness yourself, Naoto. Why don't you think about your actions for once? Shut up. I am your real father because we are blood-related. So you all have to pay off my debts. Madison and Thomas are working adults now, right? You're getting salaries every month and bonuses so you can afford to pay it back, right? Who would spend their hard-earned money on someone like you? Neither sister nor I work to waste our earnings on you. 
We're not interested in squandering it like that. Naoto, just go away for good. You can see how Madison and Thomas feel, can't you? Feelings or whatever, they're just getting carried away and blabbering. If you won't listen to me, I'll take what I want by force if I have to. By force? Don't be ridiculous. Can't you see how selfish you're being? I don't see it at all. Huh? What are you even saying? Being defiant at your age? That's just pathetic. Enough of your nagging. Mom says step back. Ow, ow, ow. What are you doing, Thomas? Good job, Thomas. Ouch, let go. Who the heck are you? I'm a police officer. Really, you should stop now. If you keep up with this nonsense, even I'll get really angry, you know? As Naoto was forcefully trying to enter the house, someone intervened to help. That person happened to be... Hugh, lucky I was patrolling this area. Why are the police here? Ouch. I called them. I knew you were coming to our house. Man, it's a reunion after 15 years. You could have at least dressed up a bit more, you know? Right? Even if we ignore the lack of style, those clothes are just tattered. Tattered. Don't say it twice. And you, calling the police for this, isn't that a bit much? Thomas is a police officer. A cop! Thomas is. Yes. And this gentleman here, Noah, is a senior from my university days and Thomas's boss. It's a nice coincidence, isn't it? We've been in Noah's care since Thomas became a police officer. Unlike someone, he's handsome, right? I've heard all about you from Thomas. Left the divorce papers, took all the valuables, and ran off without a word, then cheated, I hear. What's it to you? It's none of your business. Right? It's none of my business. But Thomas is an important part of my team, and so is his family. Imagine my reaction when I hear that a scumbag like you suddenly shows up at their house. I can't just stay silent knowing that. You mess up your own happiness chasing other women and keep spouting nonsense. You've got no right to lecture me. Whether it's your business or not, that's irrelevant. A family outsider is this angry. Don't you feel anything seeing that? Madison is right. If you truly thought of yourself as a father, you wouldn't do such insensitive things. If you really cared, you'd spend your life regretting letting Madison and Thomas go, hoping for their happiness from the bottom of your heart. For the past 15 years, Madison, Thomas, and I have been living very happily together. Naoto probably couldn't even imagine such a thing when he decided to come to our house. His insensitivity was apparent, and I couldn't hold back my anger any longer. Seeing how I reacted, Madison and Thomas said, Coming here to make us pay your debts, that's the absolute worst. Right, and you said, I'll take them by force if I have to, didn't you? You said that right in front of me, a police officer, didn't you? Oh dear, you really said that? Looks like it's definitely our turn to step in. What are you talking about? I just said that, why does that make it a matter for the police? First off, you're inside the doorway. Lisa, did you invite him in? I didn't. He came in as soon as I opened the door. I've been standing my ground here to keep him from entering the house. Mom keeps telling him to go home, but he just won't leave. Can't ignore that. Even without your previous statements, you're already in trouble. What do you mean in trouble? Just listen to me a bit. You haven't tried to understand us at all. What are you talking about? Yeah, you gave up your happiness, and now you're trying to disturb ours. Madison, Thomas, don't say things like that. I'm still your father, after all. I did raise you for a short time, didn't I? Don't talk nonsense. If you had been a spectacular father, this would be a joyful reunion. But honestly, we'd rather pretend you never existed. Showing up uninvited is just a massive inconvenience. What? We were a family once. Surely you can't really think that. This guy's hopeless. All right, all right. We'll discuss the details at the station. Come with me. Why should I? Just shut up already. Sorry, Noah, but please take care of this. As Noah was about to take Naoto to the police station, Naoto pleaded. Wait a second. Please, not the police. Anything but that, it would really trouble me. Well, we've been troubled far more by you. Please, I just wanted to live happily with the kids. You said it was to pay off your debts. Already forgot. That was sort of a joke, haha. -ha. Is this a time to laugh? Seriously. I won't allow anyone to be mean to my dear subordinate. I didn't mean any harm, officer. I'll just quietly go home. Too late. You should have gone when mom told you to. Lisa, he's your senior, right? Can't you say something for me? 
Please take good care of him. Not like that. I mean, persuade him so I don't have to go. Absolutely not. Don't think you can get away by pleading now. Are you really going to abandon me? Please, I'm sorry, see, I'm apologizing like this. It's so obvious you're just apologizing with your lips, unbelievable. Please, I promise I won't come to see you again. You'll just come back when things cool down, right? People like you always say that. Didn't we tell you Thomas is a police officer? Right, I forgot. Lisa, I'm truly sorry. Please forgive me. If sorry was enough, we wouldn't need the police. You know that phrase? Don't think you're forgiven. So, goodbye. Forever. Don't ever come back. If you do, you be in cuffs immediately. Naoto, perhaps resigned to his fate, became docile and was taken away by Noah. Having had run-ins with the law before, he ended up spending some time behind bars again. Once out, he faced the reality of needing to repay his debts. He found a live-in job, but the hours were long, the work physically demanding, and the pay low. With little rest due to the thin walls of his accommodations, he led a miserable life without any family to lean on. As for Madison, Thomas, and me. Uh, Thomas, do you have the day off today? Just got off night duty, so I'm off today. What about you, sis? I'm off too. My boss told me to make sure to use my vacation days. Oh, I'm off today as well. It's been a while since all three of us had a weekday off together, hasn't it? Thomas, let's play. What are you doing, Noah? I was bored on my day off, so I came to hang out. Oh, everyone's here? Hey Noah, we're all off today. Since it's such a rare occasion, why don't the four of us go out? Oh, that sounds great. Let's go have some fun then. Madison, Thomas, and I continued to live happily. Since Naoto's last visit, we've had no further troubles or worries. Noah has become a mutual acquaintance of Thomas and me, and he occasionally stops by to visit. Madison finds herself getting along quite well with Noah, and Thomas respects him as a boss and cherishes him almost like an elder brother. It fills me with joy to see Madison and Thomas smiling and happy. Although there are no blood ties between us, our hearts are closely connected. We are truly a family. I'm grateful that I can continue to watch over them as their mother, and today, like many others, we spend our time laughing and enjoying each other's company. If you enjoyed this video, we'd be thrilled if you subscribed to our channel. Subscribing means you'll receive notifications for new videos, keeping you in the loop with all our latest content. Your support is vital to our growth. Let's enjoy and grow together.